Today I'm going to go over the most simple no backlight problem, which is backlight fuse. So when I go over here, what do you think is going to be wrong with this board? This is one of the very, 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 very few rare times you'll see the backlight fuse actually blow in an air. Usually what happens is the, um, the LCD connector boils and then the feedback ball under the LP8550 blows and you have an entire complete clusterfuck mess because the little fuse that's supposed to prevent all that from happening doesn't blow. But on this one it actually did, which is, which is really, really cool. It had the consideration to actually do what it's supposed to and designed to do. So I'm going to take my hot air station here. Wait for it to get hot. That is a much better image than what I used to have, I have to say. Come on, Hako. Oh, you can do it. There you go. That's nasty looking, ain't it? The flux is going to carry away in the side of all the junk. The heat also helps. You kind of got the liquidous solder that's boiling, that's melting, and the flux carrying away all the crap into that big ball. This is so embarrassing. I don't have a backlight fuse. Oh my jeez. Okay. Don't tell anybody because that's embarrassing. If people found out, we're just going to take it off of a dead board. That's just sad. Yeah, but it really, it blows so little on the newer machines, because like the backlight fuse is not the fuse. The LCD connector is the fucking fuse in the feedback via. Okay, so I'm not used to having a working hot air station, so I have the air a little set too high. That fuse is gone in, in, this, in the sixth dimension with all the other fuses, little things that I've knocked off of a board. You know, this is supposed to be the simplest repair to do. Like, the easiest. I mean, the simplest thing to do on an Apple motherboard. The simplest thing to do on any motherboard. And I just fucked it up on camera twice in a row. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Like, not only did I fuck it up by not having the most basic fundamental building block to the motherboard in stock, but then I fucked it up by actually blowing it away.
and I'm still probably going to wind up posting it. Oh, and then I fucked it up by not having it soldered on camera. What a video. Now what we do is we make sure that there's no short to ground. Because there's no point in replacing the fuse if a short to ground is present that would cause it to just blow again. That would be just a sad waste of time. So I put the multimeter in diode mode. I take pin, uh, I take the black probe, I'm going to place it where backlight output is, I'm going to take the red probe, I'm going to put it on ground, and I get a number of 0.530, which is perfectly acceptable for this board. When I reassemble it, I'm probably going to have a backlight. Pretty sure. Look! Good news, ma'am! We fixed your board! See the backlight? But... Oh, it's cracked. This is what we call time for an unpleasant sales call. Oh, boy. Yeah. This is what having a full-time salesman is for. Because that is a 15-minute conversation that I don't feel like having right now. On to the next one.